Hey, welcome back. It's been some time, hasn't it? I am Ayana Supreme, where I feature lock tutorials and wig reviews. This video is a human hair wig review. Now let's get into it. So being that I am a locked queen, I have already washed, conditioned, and retwisted and braided my hair up for a future braid out. But in the meantime, I will play in this unit right now. So I just dance a little bit, sing a little bit because I'm excited, as you are, <laughs> okay? So I have my lace spray because I'm going to do the bold cap method with this particular unit. The reason why the braids are visible this time is because I know that this particular unit has a lot of volume, so it will camouflage the fact that I even have hair like this sticking up anyway. So this is the unit. It is an orange copper color. It is from Lolly Hair. Okay, it's supposed to be ginger. It's a very, very strong bright orange. I think it would be great for the fall. Only 20 inches long, okay? But look at that scalp. It's very, very translucent, which is perfect. So I can just apply my brown wig cap and I would just use the BB cream as well for a fake scalp. I release the latches to give me some space so that I can fit inside the unit even though I have a whole bunch of hair beneath it. And those are my precious little combs. You know that combs are my best friends if you've been watching my videos from a long time ago. The interior of the wig is very, very nice. I'm going to spray some tint spray from the same brand, Evan. And just to help, you know, camouflage the fact that there is a wig cap beneath, it's all art and crafts. Beauty is art and crafts. <laughs> So before I actually put the wig on, like for real, for real, I put it on temporarily to give myself an idea of how it would fit when I really do put it on. It gives me perspective, ultimately. Will it fit over my locks? Am I comfortable? Am I not comfortable? Will this give me a headache? Because, you know, things, wigs give headaches, you know what I mean? And not only that, um, I want to know if the wig can reach all the way in the back as well as all the way to the front. Is it big head friendly? Will I feel secure? These are all things that I need to know. It's like a relationship, okay? We're dating right now. We're not committed, okay? So, I'm going to take this back off because I kind of got an idea of how it would fit. And I'm pretty excited about it. Love the parting space as well. It'll work out. Um, so being that it is a 4x4, four four, it is not ear to ear, which is perfectly fine. Closures don't bother me at all. I've reviewed them before in the past. So I think it'll be a good fit for us. Now that I have an idea, I am ready to cut the wig cap and make it a bald cap. In the meantime of me cutting this bald cap or future bald cap, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Thank you. Sometimes this part is a little tricky for me because I have low edges. So like it comes down like almost close to my eyebrow. It's a really weird scenario to be in, but I just move accordingly. In life, when things don't work the way you want it to, you have to pivot. So it is what it is. Now it is time to cut the lace. And now it is time to put her on. And it fits really, really well. The density is 150%, so it's not a full 
thick bunch of hair but you know it's well enough the reason why 150 on this particular wig is not terrible is because it already has a lot of volume and texture to it so I can just comb it out she is a glueless unit so I don't need to get any spray it fits really well despite the fact that I do have locks beneath it and I'm just judging it at this point and stuff like that. I'm getting into it. I feel like every time you put on a wig, it's like you're putting on a different character, a different persona. It brings out a different aspect of your personality. And this girl right here is bringing drama. She's bringing, I don't need feet, okay? I'm good in my fins. Do you understand? I already know that you do. You get it. No need for me to explain. So I am going to continue to comb her out. I love volume. I love volume. I love volume. You already know this about me. You know, straight is cool. Curly is cool. Kinky is, is it has a special place in my heart. So I am going to continue to judge, 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 judge. I'm not going to add any mousse to make it, you know, as it was before. Um, I'm going to get as much volume as humanly possible because I love the the volume and what it's doing for my mood you know what i mean um i am going to add some earrings of course because it always takes it up a notch for me those are my signature i'm also going to add some bb cream to the center part because it just you know pretending that it's my scalp i guess you could say yes i could plug but i feel like the part that was already given was good enough for me in my opinion and I already have on my brown wig cap and I already tinted this lace. So I, I feel like I don't need to do any additional work. I'm just going to judge it out. And the energy of the wig that's bringing this sass, you know what I mean? This, this je ne sais quoi, what have you. I'm going to change my outfit and put on a cute little dress. Um, because I feel like it just goes with the hair. Like, the wig is gonna tell me what she wants me to wear. Like, literally. Like, that's how it goes. She dictates lipstick. She dictates outfit. She dictates it all. Do you understand? You understand. Because you know how it is over here. I would like to sincerely thank everybody who watches this video for your patience as far as like me coming back to YouTube. Uh, life has been lifing and it is so much fun to be back. Um, thank you for being here and to all the new subscribers. I have a few. I haven't made a thousand. I don't think I even made 500 but I still have made it this far. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.